Oh, you filming me right now? Oh, well. Got a big old update or what? Yeah, dude, come and check this place out. It actually <laughs> looks kind of cool. It's starting to look like an actual home. Look at that mat, right? Who got you that mat? That came with the house. Oh, nice. Free of charge. I never noticed it. Thanks to the previous owner. Just got this bad boy in right now. <laughs> Literally just flipped it on here. It's dude. a huge couch for a small space, but she's a little bit of like a brick right now. But dude, when we get a couple people sitting in here, a couple of guys, it'll 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 break in quick. Then we got this thing that uh, from IKEA. IKEA special, super, super well built. As you can tell, it kind of got a little flex to it. But then Trey was nice enough as a housewarming gift to go print out a bunch of photos for me and frame them. So we got childhood Xander on the old, uh, I don't even know what bike that is. It might be a Raleigh. Little big boy. Little big boy on that. Thing. Me and Dylan, back when I had the blonde Justin Bieber mm -hmm. cut. Me and my mom, I don't even know how Trey found that photo. Big boy and an angel. First four leaf clover I ever found in the grass one day. <laughs> really? That my mom brought for me from home. <laughs> Well, it's a picture of me and my brother. My mom brought that as well. That's Scott. He's my brother. Not Scotty Kramer. Scotty <laughs> Wiss Dance. Then we got England. all of us in the UK. Me and your wife looking at some lady's butt in Huntington Beach. <laughs> Pretty interesting scenario going on there. Me and the boys on the last Florida trip. This is like the, the prized possession of the big dog. Front display. So if you sit in my living room, you will see it no matter what. If you watch TV, you will see it no matter what. It's a reminder to you, don't mess with a big dog. Boom! My black belt certificate, baby. 2009 was a great year. Oh my goodness, from Grandmaster DK Cho. It looks like you got it under uh, Sun Du Quan. Yep, Sun Du Quan. Shortly after- That's a terrifying after human my right there. black belt ceremony, I shaved my head bald. It was sick. Man, this is, this is unbelievable. My mom brought these back. Childhood like little gems that I had. The ones that we were say. talking about, guys. Look Tony at Hawk board signed. Tony Hawk signed here. Another one signed right there. This, and they have the certificate. This one's got a little message over it. First to 900, Tony Hawk. One thing you guys don't know about Big Boy is a huge uh, Jersey Devils. You, you love them? Dude, there's, they're, I don't know anything. I just know Zach Parisi. I actually met Zach Parisi. You did? Yeah, I did actually meet him. But so you are a big fan. I hockey stick from him. And uh, I couldn't <laughs> tell you even what position he plays on the ice, to be completely honest with you. I didn't know what to put there. My mom brought a hockey stick over. I was like, Mom, I'll throw a hockey stick up here. And she goes, I, like I think that, it might man. look good. Could, could be self-defense What else well. would you put there? Now this one is amazing right here, guys. Above the fireplace. We got the the Oilers hockey puck, Edmonton Edmonton Oilers, another best team ever. And a hockey. And what's this one right here? This man? is my dead dog Max. This is the lower half of them. My mom got the top half. I wanted what? the torso end. I'm just kidding. Man. I was gonna I'm say that is this. some weird stuff. Well, that's Max. This is him in his final hours. Uh, he's not looking so hot right there. He looks kind of like old and you know lost. But if you want to see Max, <laughs> no, I don't want to see uh, Max. <laughs> Get out of here. Some artwork by uh, the artist Alexander Wissance. It's a good guy. Uh, he's very talented, and those are that is an art piece comprised mostly of dots and lines. It's <laughs> amazing, no dude. Actual drawing. So what made you uh, took that artist like seventeen hours in school to make that? What made him draw a panda? Uh, I I actually love pandas. I don't why I love pandas is when I was a kid and I chopped my finger off in an exercise bike, which is all the stitches. I don't know if I've ever sold that story before. But my uh, my mom's uh, friend brought me a panda to the hospital as a little kid, and I had this what? little little baby panda bear forever. And that I you. used to sleep with it every night until I was like seventeen. And this is when it gets weird, guys. Here's the toilet. We got big boy showing off his black belt. We got you know another big boy with the cat looking really creepy. And then there's a shot of me flexing with my shirt off above the above the toilet. This there's, is there is nothing that made Trey Jones happier than putting that right above the toilet, so that when you're a guest at the house and you pee, you see Scotty just flexing right in your face like that. It's pretty good. <laughs> Check it out, guys. He's got a bed finally. And then here's a shot right here. <gasps> Who's this girl? That would be uh, Tom Creasy's wife. Oh really? Yeah, that was at uh, uh, Hastings at the Brass Monkey one night. So does Tom know you have a picture of his wife kissing him? Tom knows that actually I have multiple because Kelsey and Trey, when I moved into their house like a year ago, when we stayed here last time, they filled my room up with nothing but pictures of me and Judith uh, when her she was giving me a kiss on the cheek. So wow. Tom, as you know, I've already told you this before. He didn't. It, no, I wasn't, I'm not trying anything, dude. I was so throwing that. You guys are happily married. You guys have a kid. Big boy is not trying to do anything. I promise you. Oh, here's a big boy with a red hot fox. That would be my mother's. Yeah, that's his mom. Yeah. Yeah. That would be his mom. 
So one thing we wanted to do in today's video was bring up Maddie's run that he did over in Oviedo. Hurt by he it, was man. bummed, right? He was bummed, dude. He like talked about. It. He rolled up, and I picked him up from the airport. And the first thing is a Wednesday Oviedo session. All right, we gotta go. I want to get my run again. It's like I, I want to get my whole run. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. I just, I just was. I felt defeated. And I, I get why he felt defeated. He, he was riding so good in practice, and he didn't do so hot. So I think it really bummed him out. And he, he was determined, man, to get back there and do it again. And that is what they did. They went to Oviedo at nighttime and Maddie did his run. And he wanted me to film it and put it on the channel right now to show you guys that he can pull it off. So here's some footage from that night and here's Maddie's run right here. I don't want to make any excuses, but last time I tried this run, the issue was my back wheel had two broken spokes. So it wasn't, all the spokes were loose and it wasn't allowing me to get the right pressure around. So I have new wheels on, which should be much better. It's a little less windy right now and there's a lot less people around and I'm allowed to ride whenever I can. No other excuses besides that. I felt really sick that day too, which was kind of an issue. So no um, other excuses other than just every excuse in the book. Yeah. My issue last weekend was when I dropped in, your first jump is kind of what sets everything off. I went to go do a tabletop over the hip. I rode off at the wrong spot. And as soon as I did that, I cased. So that changed my mindset on everything. So my next thing was, don't worry about anything else, just land this flip whip. Because for me, a flip whip is a big trick. It may not be to a lot of other people. Yeah, it's a big trick to everybody. But it, it is a big trick. There's a lot going on. So I pumped into that bowl and I landed that flip and I got so excited, I built my momentum again. Did an X up ride across the top deck over there. And I got into that deep bowl and I'm usually, I usually excel in a deep bowl. I'm, I'm used to the pool coping and all those good things. And I, I aired that, that pool coping and went straight to a case on it. And I, that's where everything really, really broke down. I uh, finally realized, I was like, this run is ridiculous. I look like a fool out here right now. Um, everyone knows me to be you know, a pretty good bull rider. And I'm not trying to talk myself up, but that's just how it is. I'm usually really good at riding big ramps. It's what I grew up on my whole life. I basically trained for this. And to see myself hanging up on all these little, 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 mess ups you know i don't know if they're a mess up. i don't know if it was me i don't know if it was my bike i don't know all right this here. is the issue it's all right here and what it comes down to is your mindset really you well, you have to get out there you have to have fun and no matter what sets you back you have to rise up right above against all that i've literally been thinking about this since last week since i i failed basically i failed myself and i want to get back in here and pull the run that i Let's wanted to do, do in the contest i'm not winning anything I'm not getting a participation medal today. I'm not getting a trophy. I'm not getting a t-shirt. I'm literally coming here I'll get you just to say, I'll guys, get you. You I can it. do it. If yeah. you want to get me a t-shirt, that's great. Right. I probably need a t-shirt. Let's do this then. Here we go. So far, so good. Pumping nice and smooth. Damn, look at that speed. He runs a flip whip. Perfect flip whip. Just the X-up ride, down and in, to the pocket air, huge pocket air. A little opposite carve, come in a little hip down here, that's where he gets all the speed to jump this box, huge, let's see if he can get that hip this time, huge over the box, get a nice hip, look back, yes Matt, keep it going dude. Get a little tire slide, that thing is so sick, I'll be honest. Alright, now we need to go over the spine, here's a beautiful flare. So good, all right, here it comes. 360 of the spine. All right, we only got one more thing left. Two more things left. You get it, carve around. Gap down, suicide. <laughs> So another thing I wanted to do with this video is talk to you guys about my bike shop that's up in New Jersey. It's been a little while since I've gone there, but I have some updates for you guys. And one of the updates has something to do with a titanium bike that we were building up there. So as we're trying to game plan of what we want to do with the bike and which parts we want to get, Brooklyn and Maddie ended up talking with a brand that had some really light parts that they're going to be using for the bike. So we're going to send it on up to the guys right now and they're going to explain everything to you. Hey guys. Brooklyn here. I'm going to show you today some of the lightweight parts that we just got in that are going to be available on our online store and some of them are going to be used for the tie build that we were doing in the shop. So the company today we're going to be talking about is RNC. They deal with high quality titanium and aluminum parts. So the first part we're going to start with are going to be the axle nuts. Uh, they are actually made out of titanium. Uh, they're going to be a 3 8 and 14 mil option. Uh, the front one will be a 15 mil socket and the back one will be a 17 mil socket. 
For the next item up is going to be the seat post clamp from RNC. Also made out of titanium. Also comes with a titanium bolt. So for everyone that is still has the option of running this or needs one, this will be the light one for you. All right, next item up is going to be the RNC titanium bar ends. So for people that are having issues with always ripping out plastic ones, if you want a nice little detail to the side of your bars, these will be the ones for you. All right, next item up is going to be this 48 splined 19 mil hollow spindle. For instance, Profile, Snafu, Odyssey, et cetera, et cetera. So if you really want to lighten up your cranks, this will be the way to go. All right, here's a titanium sprocket. This thing is a beauty. It's all CNC machined, thinned out titanium. This titanium sprocket right here is rare. No one's producing anything else like this. So if you want to get your hands on one, head over to the website and see the options that we have in stock available for it. Now the final piece, the best of the best, right here. The lightest stem on the market. It is made of 7075 aluminum with all titanium hardware. The titanium hardware is even hollowed out on the base where the handlebars go and then solid for strength on the fork. Had a bunch of cutouts for weight to save and even all that. And to top it all off, it comes in at 7.6 ounces. And to top it off, one more thing, it's made in the USA. All these parts are. So these titanium parts look seriously amazing. You can get all these parts at scbicycles.com and every time you place an order, not just for the titanium parts, you are gonna get entered in the month of March to win, boom, a Sabrosa Tiro Complete Bike. It is gonna be in the beautiful white color and this bike is super, 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 super nice. It's got a good assortment of components on it. It's got the Shadow Conspiracy and Ramp parts on it. So all you guys have to do is place an order on SC Bicycles in the month of March and you can win yourself this complete bike. So good luck to everyone out there and thank you for supporting SC Bicycles. It really, really means a lot to us. So that is right. If you guys want to get your hands on any of the parts that you saw in this video, if you guys want to get your hands on any other parts, you guys can go to my bike shop at scbicycles.com. And now remember, we are doing that bike giveaway. So any order that we receive in the month of March is going to be eligible for the bike so make sure you guys go and get involved so our game plan is to try to build the lightest bike we possibly can with that titanium bike and we're gonna make a one-of-a-kind bike for sure and we're gonna bring you guys along on the journey so things are gonna start coming together now that we're getting parts so stay tuned for that one but guys that's going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching peace